on December 18, 1898. The Jeanteau electric vehicle set the world's first automotive land speed record of 63.13 kilometers per hour, or 39.2 miles per hour, over the course of a single kilometer. Although the only electric vehicle at the competition, the Jeanteau handily beat its gasoline-powered competition at the Parc Agricole d'Acher outside Paris. This landmark win represented the dominance of electric vehicles at the turn of the 20th century. France was an early automotive hub in the late 19th century, especially of electrical development. Electrochemical generators were first developed in the late 1820s, but these early batteries could only be used once. Zenob Kram, a Belgian carpenter, first patented an electromagnetic machine to produce unidirectional currents in 1867. He opened his own company in 1870 and first introduced the efficient direct current, DC, electrical motor in France in 1873. The DC motor allowed for effective recharging of a battery-powered engine. The French carriage maker, Charles Jeanteau, utilized this new battery technology when he began building electric vehicles in 1881. He first added a Gram electric motor to a traditional horse buggy. He later went on to experiment with more intentional automobiles, using a British electric motor and a Swiss motor. Jeanteau sold electric vehicles from 1883 to 1906. It was in one of Jeanteau's electric vehicles that Count Gaston de chasseloup lobat set the automotive record in 1898 during a competition held by the French magazine La France Automobile. The race was held on a stretch of Macadam Road and recorded over the course of a flying kilometer at the Parc Agricole d'Acher. chasseloup lobat was the only participant in an electric vehicle, and he quickly raced ahead at the record-breaking speed of 39 miles per hour. Although an ongoing competition between Belgian Camille Genazzi and chasseloup lobat soon overtook this record, the feat was the first set in an electric vehicle. Electric vehicles proliferated in early automotive innovation around the world at the end of the 19th century. Jeanteau's success reflects how France led automotive production, but manufacturers experimented with new electric vehicles in England and Germany in the 1870s and 1880s as well. Electric vehicles first appeared in the United States in 1890. After the introduction of electric cabs in New York and Philadelphia in 1897, electric vehicles dominated larger car markets, like New York City, in the early 1900s. Between 1900 and 1910, electric cars held 38% of the rapidly growing U.S. car market, compared to steam cars, 40%, and gasoline cars, 22%. However, electric cars remained far more expensive than their competitors, with limited range. Electric automobiles remained luxuries because of their smoother ride than the loud, bumpy gasoline vehicles with their notable engine kickback. Cheap oil and the standardization of electric starters to smooth out gasoline car rides in the 1910s helped gasoline cars win the market. During the electric vehicle's peak years, punctuated in 1912, more than 27 companies produced electric cars. However, by the end of 1917, that number had declined to fewer than 10 firms. Since then, car companies have dabbled with electric car and truck development for decades, despite the gasoline car's apparent dominance. Long before the Japanese carmaker Toyota introduced the all-electric Prius in 1997, Car makers of the 20th century, like the American General Motors, tried to revive interest in electric vehicles with experimental prototypes in the 1950s and the 1970s. In fact, in 1975, the U.S. Postal Service bought 350 electric Jeeps from American Motors for its delivery fleet amidst the oil crisis of the 1970s. General Motors went even further in the 1990s with the introduction of the EV1 in 1996. However, these efforts remained experimental and were never sufficiently funded, marketed, or supported to commercially compete with gasoline-powered vehicles. Car companies are now racing to roll out new electric vehicles to fill growing demand. 
Yet despite increased interest as part of consumer efforts to reduce pollution from gas cars, similar struggles to those that hindered electric vehicles in the early 20th century continue to challenge electric car adoption today. In the 1900s, electric cars were considered luxury vehicles with smoother rides, but they also were less durable, with limited range, and were expensive compared to gasoline cars. The introduction of the affordable Model T that intentionally drove down the price of an individual automobile only further hurt electric vehicles. Today, issues like range anxiety or the fear of running out of electricity without a place to refill remain a real barrier to electric car adoption around the world. So too does high cost and the lack of infrastructure, sufficient electricity sources, and resources for large-scale battery production. However, the Jeanteau electric car of 1898 reminds us that electric vehicles once were superior to gasoline cars. If they beat the gasoline competition before, perhaps one day they'll dominate again.